With that glitch, it's time to thwip. What's up, thwipper snappers? I'm AJ, and it's time for another thwip side review. And today I'm checking out the Big Bad Toy Store, McFarland Toys, DC Multiverse, Gold Label, The Flash, DC Rebirth, Black and White, Special Edition action figure. Now, if I remember correctly, this Flash DC Rebirth figure is the first offering in the DC Multiverse from McFarland Toys for the um, limited edition, limited to 3,000 pieces. We'll talk more about that as the review goes on, but I think this is the first one. Um, and getting right into the packaging, you get this nice, slick, plain, um, elegant, I guess, looking packaging. You have the gold label insignia up here, um, DC, and then the flash and like a silver, and it says the flash DC rebirth, black and white accent edition, because <laughs> it's not really black and white. And then you have that it's a BBTS exclusive, more gold trim that says authenticated limited edition, if the glare doesn't uh, block it out, but it does say authenticated limited edition to 3000 pieces, plain on the back, except for a QR code. Um, same type of deal on the side as the front of the box. And on the back, way back, is a picture of the Rebirth Flash. I believe this is the same picture you got with the original version of this figure, if I remember correctly. Um, let me know if I'm wrong. One thing I'm quickly realizing is that I'm probably going to spend the longest amount of time I ever had on a review going over packaging because a lot of this is just like the total presentation. You get the fancy packaging. But uh, this is actually a slip cover. So you pop it off, and da 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 da. Here is the figure itself, and you get all the bells. You get the Flash figure, of course, a card, Speed Force effects, and a fancy dancy stand. So here's Flash out of his display tray with all the stuff he comes with, and we will just take a look at that stuff right now. Now you get several Speed Force effects, and I believe they are the same effects that came with the first regular release. And they plug in, you get big ones, you get little ones. They are really cool. This one's a little bent, nothing hot water can't take care of, I hope. <laughs> and then you get medium ones. So you get small, large, and medium, and they plug in throughout his body. I'll show you when we get to that point, you get the fancy base instead of the disc we usually get with the flash logo this is just painted on tampoed on it's not sculpted or anything and then you get the trading card with a trading card stand it says the flash it's got some gold embossing down here this is a flash black and white accent edition and oh the card serves as the certificate of authenticity Mine is number 803 out of 3000. Again, I'm going to be talking about that at the end of the video, I decided. And then of course the card just slides right back in, just like so. Now, as we take a closer look at Flash, I am gonna concentrate mostly on the paint scheme because he is just a repainted figure essentially with uh, fancy packaging <laughs> and little add-ons. So let's see how, it, how the paint turned out. For one, I do like it. It's like not a black, really. I would say it's more of a gray, which is odd because it is called, if I remember correctly, black and white accent edition. Or, yeah, right? Yeah, black and white accent edition. Had a little brain stutter there for a minute. <laughs> and the main color is more of like a charcoal gray, a gray and not black. <laughs> and it's yellow <laughs> and very little white except for here even the skin tone is like grayish maybe that's where the white's supposed to be and maybe they just didn't want to do shiny white but it's more of a dirty white but mo more like a gray and i do like how he looks i do like the colors but it's just not black and white and it's definitely not what do we got? Oh, it says accent. I thought it said gold accent because of all the gold tampos on the card and on the box. But I think it would have really popped, even though I do like the yellow. I think it would have really popped if the yellow was actually gold. I think that would have looked cool. I mean, this does look cool, but that would have really, really popped. There is a little white inside uh, the flash symbol, which is sculpted. 
this is paint these lines the belt is sculpted he got some sculpt here for the rest of his glove and of course sculpted boots but yeah i think he does look really cool just not black and white articulation wise of course he's the same as the previous uh release because repaint and of course you get all the head movement i didn't actually have the single release of this figure i had the release that came with red death with the angry face i still have it not had it's just packed away because room is becoming an issue <laughs> but yeah it's all the same stuff he does have his joints are nice and tight some tighter than most but you get all the mcfarlane articulation like i said I'm not gonna go super into it too much just you can watch me move them around as i gab but yeah <laughs> there's a double joint of knees Ugh tight double joint knees oh uh, we do like to always test this not too too bad and crunch yeah not that great arc back of course is good so yeah <laughs> no big surprises there if you already have this figure so bottom line for me for what is essentially just a repaint wrapped in fancy packaging with a fancier base and a card stand i do have quite a bit to say about this um bbts exclusive black and white accent edition flash first off like i keep laughing about i think it's funny they call it black and white because he's gray and yellow there's a little white in the symbol and even his face isn't really white it's more like a light gray <laughs> but that's that doesn't make me mad i just think it's funny they call it that but what else are you going to call it um as i mentioned i think if they made the yellow gold that would have been really really cool i don't mind the yellow i think it looks good playing off the gray but uh i think the gold would have really made make would really have made it pop so yeah i i like the figure i mean he was a good figure to start off i do happen to like the flashpoint flash from the target exclusive um better but this is still a good flash figure in my opinion but going to the special edition limit limited edition so many pieces i find it kind of strange that when this figure first popped up as i mentioned i think this is the first limited edition to 3000 pieces for dc multiverse from mcfarland toys i wanted to check it out i was lucky enough got my pre-order in it sold out shortly after okay sold out 3000 people bought it or maybe a little less depending on how many you were able to buy i don't know what the limit was there's probably one or two is my guess but sold out all three thousand pieces sold out but today i just happened to look back and they have them in stock <laughs> which i think is funny because if it's sold out and you only had three thousand pieces like i just mentioned you would think the three thousand pieces that the pre-order sold out with would be it so I just find that strange. And if I was rich, I'd buy the rest of the stock just to see <laughs> if I could figure it out. Maybe it was canceled pre-orders. I had thought of canceling my pre-order because this is something I definitely really, really didn't need. And I mean, it wasn't super, super high on my want list. It just looked like something cool, limited edition. I want to get it and check it out. It's the Flash and I like the Flash. So there you have it with that. Uh, if I had a choice, looking back though, I would have skipped him and tried to get the Blacklight Joker just because that Blacklight black light gimmick seems pretty cool to me. Unfortunately, I did miss out on that Joker, which kind of sucks. But maybe I'll get lucky and it'll be the same thing. Pre-orders sold out, but miraculously we have stock. <laughs> um... Besides that, do I regret buying this figure? No, he is a cool display piece. You can't really, unless you're building like, and to me, unless I was building a special edition uh, display, you can't, to me, I wouldn't ever really display him with my regular figures, but just to have a cool looking limited edition flash is pretty cool. <laughs> I know I don't sound super excited like I do a lot of times with the figures, but it is what it is he is cool i do not have buyer's remorse i mean i thought of like i had mentioned i thought about canceling my pre-order and using that money to a different for a different figure but now that i have him i am pretty happy with him now whether if i recommended him or not 
um, that is up to you. <laughs> um, these kinds of things especially are like not for everybody. Some people love them. Some people hate them and people collect different in different ways. So I would never tell you not to get this figure, even though I'm not quite as excited for him as I usually can get for a figure. I would never tell you not to buy these special edition figures. And actually, I never tell you not to buy any figures. I just tell you if I like them or not. <laughs> and I guess that is my ramble on that. Like I said, I had a lot to say about it. But I do like the figure. I'm happy with the purchase. But just not as, ex as excited as I normally would be for a figure I I'm, I'm went after. So there you have it. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this rambling. And if you did and you're here for the first time, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing and doing all that stuff we uh, we YouTubers have to beg for. <laughs> and um, thanks for all the support from, from everybody that watches the videos from sub subscribers or first time viewers. And I will have the more of my Batman the Telltale ser series enemy, enemy Within videos coming up uh, throughout this weekend. I'm hoping to get all five of those episodes up by the end of next week, but there'll be at least two more this weekend. And I'm going to try to squeeze in another figure review before I head off to a um, weekend retreat. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Later.